welcome to The Daily Englisher. This survey isn't over yet, but I've already read some of them and I thought I'd start doing something that somebody suggested. They wanted me to talk about songs more and recommend songs to study. So I've decided Friday is song day. I'm going to talk about a song every Friday. So feel free to suggest a song that you want me to talk about. Today's song is All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey because it's December and it's one of my favourite Christmas songs. I love the tune and the lyrics. So romantic. Wikipedia says it was recorded for Carrie's fifth album, Merry Christmas, which was released in 1994. Its protagonist declares that she doesn't care about Christmas presents or lights. All she wants for Christmas is to be with her lover. Do you know what protagonist means? Protagonist, noun formal, the main character in a play, film, slash movie, or book, or song, I guess. Anyway, it also says it's one of the most commercially successful Christmas singles of the modern era. I think it's good for studying. Most of the vocabulary is pretty straightforward. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I don't need to hang my stocking there upon the fireplace. Upon means on. It's just a more formal version. I don't ask for much this Christmas. I don't even wish for snow. I'm just going to keep on waiting underneath the mistletoe. Mistletoe is a plant that people use as a Christmas decoration, and if two people meet under it, they're supposed to kiss. Well, that's what happens in the movies anyway. I don't think I've seen mistletoe in real life, but maybe we don't have it in New Zealand. I also quite like how this song is not consumeristic. Not that I'm really anti-shopping, but it's just nice that the song's not about spending money. Santa Claus won't make me happy with a toy on Christmas Day. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. Kia ora, in Stick News today, a town in Nova Scotia is considering a bylaw that would ban smoking on all town property, including streets and footpaths. The town of Bridgewater, Nova Scotia, has proposed banning smoking in all public places in the town except for two bridges because they are owned by the province of Nova Scotia. CBC News reports the town is fuming and opponents of the bylaw plan to take a stand on Saturday by smoking on one of the bridges. The proposed bylaw is expected to be voted on in a few weeks. And that was Stick News for Friday the 7th of December. Kia ora. Hi, sweet man. Today, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit 人がいないから開くがいい、うん、でも人がいっぱいになっちゃったら、うん、東山とかあんのかりとかいいよね思いはねあと C のとこもあるしねえー、っと17年ぐらいですかね仕事はあのス,あのスノーボードガイドと,あの、うん、とボードのテストとかブーツのテストとか。まあ、ゲンテムスティックっていうボードであの GT っていうあのシグネーチャーモデルを出してます今年はシーズンが例,例年に比べてこの23年から見るとちょっと早い感じだし今山もあの、まあ、コースですけれどもだいぶもう平らになってきてあの滑れるとこも徐々に増えてきてあのいいシーズンスタートじゃないかなと思ってます。What did the light bulb say to the light switch? You really turned me on. Are there many bars in Kucha? About how many? 50? Really? That's a lot. Snacks? What does that mean? Like a strip bar? and female customers aren't allowed. Are they beautiful young women? Mm, yeah, there are a lot actually for the population size. There are like only about 15,000 people living here and about 50 bars. 
Yeah, but most of them are just small snacks. It's a kind of bar for men. Mm -mm, yeah, but um, they don't usually strip. The women just talk to the guys and like pour their drinks and stuff. No, you can go there. Like I've been to snack bars with a group of people and it's okay, but there are like women sitting there fake smiling and clapping while you're singing. So it's kind of annoying. I'd rather go to a normal bar or izakaya. Um, well, maybe if you go to an expensive place, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. A person who is against something and tries to change or stop it. A. Bylaw. B. Ban. C. Propose. D. Fume. E. Opponent. Opponent. A law that is made by a local authority and that applies only to that area. Bylaw. To suggest a plan, an idea, etc. for people to think about and decide on. Propose. Officially or legally prohibit. Ban. To be very angry about something. Phew. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.